It's Wednesday, and you know what that means? Uh, well, sad news, actually, from the world of music, Captain Chris. Yeah. We've learned that Weird Al Yankovic has passed away today. No, uh, I again, as I always do, I have to take objection to that. Really? Uh, not true. Uh, still alive. I have it on good authority that he is still alive. Uh, really? Yes. Not, I have, my notes say he, he no, died. Um, uh, we have a chief Weird Al medical correspondent. Uh, if, if you want to take line one. Uh, oh. we'll, we'll have our chief Weird Al medical right now, correspondent. On line one. Yeah, have, have him check. Let me, let me check. Uh, yes, yeah, so on the words of James Brown, I do in fact feel good. Oh my goodness. It is the one and the only Weird Al Yankovic. That's right. When, when you need to know the health of Weird Al, you go straight to the source. Dear friend, Weird Al. I, I was looking around at the world in general and thinking, the world really needs some polka right now, desperately. So I, I had to fill that void. There, there is not much that brings the world together more than a good polka jam. Um, Weird Al, first of all, it's an honor. Second of all, um, you've made parody songs of throughout the decades from a bunch of different genres, a bunch of different artists. Do you have a like a, a particular favorite reaction from an artist that uh, you made a parody song of theirs and they just had a fantastic reaction? Uh, you know, I get permission ahead of time, so it, it, it's not a surprise, and and uh, and they all seem to really like what I do. I think my favorite one was uh, was Chameleon Air because I did a white and nerdy yeah. uh, yes. song. Right. And uh, I remember uh, we were both at the Grammys after that, and uh, he came up to me on the red carpet and he said, hey, man, I want to thank you because I just won the Grammy for Rap Song of the Year. And I think a big reason for that was because of your parody, because you made it undeniable <laughs> that, that my song was the Rap Song of the Year. Um, of course, you're, you're treading into some ground in this polka mania, sampling a lot of, of, of different artists out there, uh, from Adele to, to you know, Ed Shireen, uh, of course, Miley in there, and Taylor Swift as well. Do you worry about any blowback from the Swifties? I mean, that's a that's a very very fragile area to go into right there. Did you feel any any hesitation about uh, you know testing the Taylor Swift waters in this one? Well, I, every single artist uh, in the polka medley signed off on it. They all gave me their blessing and their approval. Taylor Swift was fine with it, so I can't imagine why the Swifties wouldn't like it. <laughs> well, uh, and the video as well. It features so many different animations that kind of uh, take us through your career as well in animation form. Uh, tell us a little bit about the process of putting the video together and so many talented uh, animators and puppeteers and so many other folks who are in the video. Yeah, you know, because it's a medley, I figured I would do an Anna Jam and, and hire a dozen of my favorite uh, animators to each do one of the songs. So there are a lot of people that I've worked with before, like like the, the, the great Bill Plimpton uh, and uh, Jarrett Heather, who did uh, my my word crimes video, Liam Lynch, who's brilliant. Uh, the, the, the puppets were done by Victor Yared, who I also worked with in Polka Face. Uh, and then there are people uh, that I that I haven't worked with before that I always wanted to, like Syriac, who's a British animator, um, uh, Vivian Madrano, who does Has Been Hotel. Uh, I mean, every single person I worked with is just a top notch animator, and they were they all jumped at the chance to do a, do a Weird Al video, so I was very happy about that. Of course, uh, we're going to play it here as well in just a moment. Uh, Polka Mania, of course, they can see the video on your official YouTube page and your social media channels there as well and they can download the song and help out there as well. We're seeing so many remakes as well of movies. You know, this new Twisters movie is out. We saw Top Gun. We saw so many others. What are the odds that we're going to see a UHF remake in the future? Because I feel like it was snubbed for an Academy Award when it came out. A true cinematic masterpiece early in your career. Could we ever see that one reboot, you think? I don't know. I mean, people have been asking me that for 35 years. Yesterday was the 35-year anniversary of the movie, by the way. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I don't think so. I think there might uh, like a, a sequel for Weird the Al Yankovic story is more likely because <laughs> there, there are so many unanswered questions, like what happened after I died. You know, right, that's true. Yeah. Well, Weird Al, we are so glad that that our notes were wrong, and Captain Chris, I'm glad that you were able to pull this off. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been trying to tell you week after week, and I had to just go to the source. Well, wow, Weird Al Yankovic with us. Uh, we appreciate the time, as always, and so glad that you are not dead, Weird Al. Uh, we will try to stop reporting this news uh, each and every week that you have passed away and you're still alive and well. We, we appreciate the time, Weird Al. Thanks so much.